And we are now moving into the last two months of the year, which, of course, suggests that you're going to see a stronger rally into the end of the year. And here's what you need to know before the bell this morning. Markets rallied over the last couple of days. Look, we've had a very, very big decline in the market. And we've had three months of negative returns. Now, this is important because we are now moving into the last two months of the year, which, of course, suggests that you're going to see a stronger rally into the end of the year. And again, we've, we've talked about this before. You've got, uh, starting today, that window for stock buybacks is open. You also have, in the month of November, a lot of seasonality in terms of purchases for equities. Again, you know, we've got a lot of performance chasing that has to be done by the end of the year by managers. And there's also a very big short position against equities as well sitting out there. Uh, if the market begins to rally, they're going to have to cover that short, which adds additional fuel to the market. So uh, again, there's a lot of reasons why you should expect a rally here. You know, and, and just from a technical basis, you have a very large number of stocks trading below their 50-day moving average. Now, that, that percentage of stocks below their moving average is at levels that normally coincide with stock market bottoms, either in bear markets or, or deep corrections. And of course, we've had a fairly deep correction here. Um, you know, we talked about that 10% correction back in June. That's exactly what we saw. So, you know, that we're at that level where now you normally get a bounce with, within the markets. Um, you know, importantly, too, when we take a look back over time and we look at periods where you've had three negative months in a row, that doesn't happen very often. And, and again, you know, normally you'll get one or two months and you'll have a month of gain, those type of things. But, you know, you don't normally see periods where you have three negative months in a row. In fact, the last time that you had three negative months in a row was, at the, was in 2020 during the pandemic-driven shutdown. You had three negative months in a row, and that was a fantastic buying opportunity for stocks. So, again, you've had three negative months consecutively in the markets. That is a rarity that doesn't happen very often. It can happen, um, but it doesn't happen very often. And this was also one of the premises why in June and July we were talking about needing a correction because we had basically six months of an advance in the markets. That's also a rarity. That's a very long stretch for an advance. So markets can't go up consecutively month after month after month after month without having a correction. They also don't go down month after month after month without having at least a reflexive action in the markets. Uh, and again, you know, you can have a period like we saw in 2022 where you have a, an overall decline in the market, but along the way you had two months down, a month up, month down, month up, that type of thing. So you're due for, the point is, is that you're due for a rally here. Now, it doesn't mean that because you say you're, you're due for a rally that you're gonna have six straight months of advance, right? You're at least gonna have a month or two of this market gaining some ground before the next correction. Uh, and again, so it's just, you know, people get too far off on one side of the ledger. Lots of negative sentiment right now. People are assuming the world is coming to an end. That's a great setup for a reflexive rally in the market. So just uh, kind of keep your mind open to that a bit. Uh, that's what you need to know before the bell this morning. <laughs>